Well, good morning. It's it's great to be with you again this morning um, as we continue our journey this week in looking at the commands of Jesus and the different things that Jesus told us that we need to do in our life. You ever thought about your Christian walk and you feel like all we do is follow a bunch of rules? Does, does it seem like that sometimes? That's not really how I think Jesus intended for it to be. I, I think Jesus intended for our walk to be natural and, and not to be constantly followed, following rules, but just a natural part of our life. We've looked at the commands of Jesus all week and the things that he's told us that we needed to do, and, and today is, is no different. We look in Mark chapter 12 today, and in verse 28, some scribes came up to Jesus, and they were curious, and, and they asked him, they said, of all the commands, which one is the most important? That's what they wanted to know from Jesus, of, of everything that has been told, what is the, the most important. And you know what's coming next in, in verse 30 as, as we read on. He says, love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your soul and all of your mind and with all of your strength. And we know the second part of that as well, is that he comes back and he also says the second is as important as the first, and that is to, to love your neighbor as yourself. And we talked about that earlier in the week. But to love God with everything that you had, that was one of the great commandments that he gave us. If, if we love God, if we want to show our love for God, then we want to serve him. And when we love God, we can't help but to, to love others because his love will flow through us when we do that. More and more each day, our love will continue to grow for our Heavenly Father. More and more each day, he will let us know exactly what he wants us to do. He'll guide us and, and show us. Our only job then is, is truly to listen, to listen to what he's saying to us. And that will be able to guide our hearts, and that will be able to guide the love that we have for him. Our only job is to listen and to follow his commands. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that is love is born of God and knows God. Love God. Love your fellow man. This is the greatest commandment. Seems pretty simple. We love God and, and we show our love for God through how we serve and, and how we care for others. But it's important. You know, Jesus took all the rules that we had at one time and he boiled them down basically into two. And it was love God and, and love your neighbor. And, and it's so important that we're able to do that. It's so important that we're able to follow what he's telling us and, and follow the teachings of Jesus. We could tell through Jesus' ministry his love for, for God through the way that he served, the way that he prayed, the, the way that he treated others. And that was an example for us. And so our call is to do the same thing. And so my challenge today is how are we going to love God? How are you going to show that love? for God. We show that love through the way that we treat people, the way that we act, the way that we communicate. There was a song played at, uh, at the service last Sunday, they'll know we are Christians by our love. I love that song and I, I love what it means and I love the, the phrasing of it. And that's what Jesus is telling us to do. They'll, they'll be able to tell that you are Christians 
by the love that you have and the love that you show. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I look forward to tomorrow's time with you.